plastic water bottles. They keep you quenched, but how are they made? It all starts with thousands of tiny pellets, primarily comprised of PET plastic. PET, or polyethylene terephthalate, is strong, safe, and makes up about 96% of plastic bottles and containers in the U.S. Most plastic products are created through a process known as injection molding, which begins with a technician loading the pellets into a giant funnel known as a hopper. However, these days, it's far more common for the pellets to be vacuumed up through tubes and directly into the hopper, where they are measured and portioned for the injection process. The plastic pellets travel down the hopper and into the machine where they are melted down and injected into molds in the shape of drinkware. For most drinkware, like plastic cups, the process is pretty much complete. A robotic arm removes the cups from the machine and stacks them for the technician to inspect. Lids and squeeze tops are also done in one. As the mold opens, the finished lids are ejected down a chute, ready for assembly. When bottles are injection molded, the process has multiple steps. Initially, the plastic is molded into a small, hollow cone. The cones are compact and thus easier to store. When an order is placed, the cones are inserted onto a conveyor and heated to make them soft and pliable again. Then they are squeezed into a larger mold while air is forced into the center causing the plastic to expand to the full shape and size of the bottle. It's like blowing up a balloon. When they exit the mold, you have a fully formed and beautiful plastic bottle ready to hold your favorite beverage. Some machines are so enormous that the entire process is completed internally. The plastic is melted, the cones are formed, and then immediately molded into finished bottles without ever being touched by a technician. But we're not done yet, because injection molding is not the only way to make a bottle. This is extrusion molding, a process in which heated plastic is squirted out into long, hollow tubes like large plastic noodles. Three at a time, the molds clamp around the plastic noodles. Air is forced into the molds, and the plastic tubes expand into the completed shape of the bottle. The bottles are formed, but there is extra plastic to be trimmed. So they are run through a cutter with a heated blade that shapes them up like a hot knife through butter. Now it's on to heat treatment. Without it, the ink used in screen print and pad print will not properly adhere to the drinkware. Our extrusion molded bottles are sent spiraling through a gauntlet of fire and out the other side ready for logos. Fun fact, an easy way to tell if a bottle has been heat treated is to dip it in water. If the water beads up, the bottle has not been treated. A fully treated bottle will come out of the water with a glossy sheen. Bottles and cups are great, but what really takes them to the next level is branding. So it's off to the screen printers to add your name and logo. The final step is packaging. The bottles are sealed in plastic, boxed up, and sent to lucky customers all over the world who are looking to expand their brand. There you have it, plastic water bottles, a great way to hydrate and promote your brand.